Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Monday, April 18th, 2022. Alright, let's get started. Okay, it looks like we have some circles in the grid. It looks like they're kind of bookending the longer across answers here. That's definitely going to be part of our theme. Alright, let's start with one across. Scotch blank, 3M product. That's got to be scotch tape. All right, let's try and build off of tape here. Completely wreck. That's going to be total, as you would a car. Early calculators. This is pretty tricky because they're asking for calculators plural. So that means our answer needs to be plural too. So an early calculator was an abacus, but because it needs to be plural, we need to put in abacai which is the plural of abacus. Yeah, it's kind of a funky Latin plural. Let's see what this answer at the bottom here is. Use as a towel at the shore. I wonder if this is going to be lie on. Yeah, you usually lie on towels at the beach, right? Do as once told. That should be obey. Let's just see if we can get these two downs here. Black tea variety? I know I've seen Pico tea before. I don't know if I've ever tried it. You've got to be kidding reaction. That's looking like it's going to be an eye roll. All right, let's take a look at our first theme answer here. Go strolling. It kind of looks like that's going to be take a walk, right? So what would that give us for our circled squares? It looks like talk. That's interesting. Okay, we've got our first theme element here. Squirrel's stash, that's gonna be acorns, yeah. Film with the line, you're gonna need a bigger boat. That's the classic line from Jaws. Olympic martial arts since 1964. I think that has to be judo. Sailing the ocean, that could be a sea. That means you're out sailing the ocean. Miley Cyrus's party in the USA. Yeah, I usually hear that one around the 4th of July. Airline with its main hub in Atlanta. Yeah, I think that's going to be Delta. Like many Chardonnay barrels. This looks like it should be Oaken, maybe? Like made of oak? That's a little tricky there. Sub at an office. That'll be a temp, right? I wonder if we can get this next theme answer here. Outdoor concert stage. Hmm. Is that going to be a bandstand? What would that give us in the circled letters? Oh, it would just be band. Talk band. Hmm. It almost makes me think that it's not going to be stand here. I don't think they would repeat band in the answer and in the circles. Let's take out stand here. Let's see if band is right. OBGYNs and 36 downs. Well, OBGYNs are doctors, but it's abbreviated in the clue here. So that means our answer needs to be abbreviated. So this is going to be medical doctors, plural. Um, and then this should be a different type of doctor. Sinus specialist for short. That could be an ear, nose, and throat doctor. I think that confirms band. Brings to a close. Is it going to be wraps up? That's a nice answer there. Apt rhyme for slams. Slams. Hmm. This isn't going to be about poetry slams, right? It does have to rhyme with slams. Hmm. I'm not sure what would rhyme with slams and would start with a W. Roomba or auto mower? Um, both of those would be a robot, right? One end of a battery would be an anode. Let's get some crossing help on this slams rhyme. Sweetie? That's kind of a pet name. You could also say hun. Warmer than freezing? 
on the Celsius scale? Well, freezing on the Celsius scale is zero. So is it gonna be above zero? Yeah, very nice. One posing for an artist? That's gonna be a model. So I guess this is just whams. Yeah, okay, it's just another word with a similar meaning. So what is our down here? Metal for a girder? I think that has to be steel. So we have a V here. Two finger victory sign. Yeah, V for victory. That was a favorite of Winston Churchill we learned a few days ago. So this is not a bandstand. I'm glad we took that out. What is it gonna be instead? Concert stage. Hmm. I wonder if I don't know this. This doesn't look familiar to me. Canal to the Red Sea, that should be the Suez Canal. Fuss in front of a mirror is gonna be preen, like a pigeon. What's blank name? That's gonna be what's her name, I guess, right? So this is a band shell? I've never heard of that before. Interesting. Is it called a shell because it has kind of a half a hemisphere shape? I guess that makes sense, yeah. And then that gives us ball. Talk and ball. Hmm, I don't know what those two things would have in common. Let's see if we can get another example. Doozy. Hmm, this is kind of old timey language. A doozy, another kind of old timey word for a doozy would be a lulu. Yeah. That's a kind of a tough bit of vocab there. Declare invalid as a marriage. That would be annul a marriage. Garland gift in Hawaii. That's the lei. That's a necklace that you might get. Blank cake, ring shaped dessert. That could be a bunt cake, right? I wonder if we can get this one. Stiff test. Hmm. That's interesting. Are they talking about a test you would take in school? Hmm. Slimy stuff? Is that just goo? It's almost looking like this is just going to be the word challenge, right? A challenge could be a stiff test, like a difficult test. And then this is change. Talk, ball, change. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on with these circled letters. I mean, they're all words, but are they related somehow? Ride that's hailed. That should be a cab. Weeder's tool is a hoe. Even Steven. I really want this to be all square. Yeah, if you're even Steven, you're all square. So we have AOL, legacy internet service provider, yeah. And because of this abbreviation in the clue, America Online is abbreviated here. Sings out with a lot of power. That's going to be belts, right? Immunity tokens on Survivor. Oh boy, it's been a while since I've watched Survivor. I think they were idols, right? Blackish co-star Tracy Blank Ross. I don't recognize this actor. Yeah, let's get some crossing help there. 35 millimeter camera type in brief. That could be a single lens reflex camera. It's a pretty common camera type. Turnpike feature made obsolescent by electronic passes. That would be a toll booth. So that gives us tooth. <laughs> what do these words have in common? This is totally baffling to me. Talk, ball, change, tooth. <laughs> I wonder if they all go with another word. That's kind of what it's starting to feel like. Like maybe we'll get a revealer here and it'll be a word that goes with all these other words. Hmm. Yeah. I wonder if that's what it's going to be. Genetic messenger? That could be RNA. There's messenger RNA. So I don't think so is nah. Yeah, these quotation marks mean we need to come up with an equivalent phrase, so nah definitely works there. 
This is looking like it might be Ellen. Metal for a girder. And it's not steel. We already have steel. Maybe this is going to be iron. Another very strong metal. So this is not Ellen. Maybe it's Ellie? Let's get more of this one filled in. Sushi bar drink? That could be sake. Letter after sigma. It's looking like that might be tau. Another Greek letter. Ticket granting access to the slopes. I think that should be ski pass, right? I wonder if we can get this one now. Gel filled NyQuil offerings. <laughs> um, what do they call those? Are they like liquid caps? Is that what they call them? Lips. I mean, that's a word. Tooth lips. Talk ball change tooth lips. <laughs> Man. Traffic signal. That should be a light. Less welcoming? Hmm. This is going to need to be a comparative word. I think icier would work here. Yeah, you're less welcoming. Chef De Laurentiis of the Food Network? Oh man, I've never heard of this person. I'm really bad with celebrity chefs. Subs at a deli? That could be heroes, right? This is a little bit of a tricky clue here. It's not like substitutes at a deli, right? They're talking about submarine sandwiches. Another word would be heroes. Big obstacles at a golf course. I guess they're going to be trees. I don't know what else could fit there. Stag's mate. That could be a doe, right? We're talking about deer. A female deer. So is this really Giada de Laurentiis? Giada? Ooh. That doesn't look like a name to me. I guess it might be right, though. Warsaw resident. Warsaw is in Poland, so that would be a pole. We have eco, green prefix, yeah. Eco is a green prefix. Writer Edgar Blank Poe, that's Edgar Allan Poe. Spring bloom. Is that a peony? I know that's a kind of flower. Let's see if we can confirm that. Where to buy shares of GM. And we have an abbreviation in the clue again. I think you could buy shares of GM on the New York Stock Exchange. Start a poker pot. Oh, that should be Ante. Yeah, there was a typo in Edgar Allan Poe's name there. Okay, so this should be Ante. Tiebreakers in hoops. I think that's going to be overtimes. And again, they're kind of giving us a clue that the answer should be abbreviated because they gave us this very informal word for basketball here, hoops. That's another clue that your answer could be abbreviated. And this is probably going to be our revealer. Let's take a peek at this. Unresolved details and a hint to this puzzle's circle letters. Hmm. I think this should be loose ends, right? That's another way to say unresolved details. So why would these be loose ends? Loose ends, loose lips, loose tooth, loose change, loose ball. Loose ball, I guess like in baseball, if somebody drops the ball. And loose talk. Yeah, all of these circled words could go with the word loose and there are loose ends because they're at the ends of all of these across answers. That's very clever. That's a great revealer there. Very nice. Okay, so we have a loose ends and let's just finish up this corner here. Gotcha, another equivalent phrase. That could be I see. Carried, that could be born. That's another word for carrying something. That's a little bit of a tricky vocab word there. Tournament favorite? Hmm. I guess they're maybe talking about a basketball tournament, that kind of thing. That could be a one seed. If you're a one seed, you're the favorite to win. Post-OR stop? 
And again, we have abbreviations. So post operating room, maybe that could be rehab. Yeah, you're doing like physical rehab. Skillful with home repairs. That's got to be handy, right? What's this long across? Wildly absurd colloquially? Is that just going to be insane? I think it could be. Actress McDowell. Yeah, that's Andy McDowell. One ups. I guess that's going to be bests. Yeah, like you're one upping someone else. So that would give us edit. Menu bar option. Yeah, like on a computer, edit. And then this should be an S, dyes, Easter egg colorings. Yeah, it's one day late, but that's still good. All right, let's throw that S in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Monday puzzle in 20 minutes. That's not too bad, maybe a little bit on the slow side. This was a really nice Monday theme. This is a great revealer here, loose ends. And then all of these circled words can go with the word loose. Yeah, I think the only one that I wasn't immediately familiar with was a loose ball. I think it does have something to do with sports though, like a loose ball in football maybe. Like if somebody fumbles the ball, it's a loose ball. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Oh, and look at this. I didn't even notice we had another post OR stop clue here. Yeah, they did that a couple of times on this puzzle. We had two post OR stops and two medals for a girder with steel and iron. That's pretty funny. I like some of this longer fill too. All square and eye roll, those are both pretty nice. All right, well, I think that just about wraps up this Monday puzzle. I hope you enjoyed solving that one along with me. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the Tuesday puzzle, and I think that's gonna do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time.